So this clip was taken on the flight from Europe back to the USA yesterday while cruising at 38,000 feet. We noticed an aircraft on TCAS, which is the Traffic Collision Avoidance System. And when I started filming, it was about six miles ahead of us. We were cruising at 38,000 feet and this aircraft was at 37,000 feet, 1,000 feet below our altitude. When you zoom in, you can see the aircraft and its contrail. This HUD horizon line represents horizontal. Because the aircraft is lower than our altitude, it appears below horizontal. But notice where the Earth horizon is. It is even lower, confirming that the Earth's horizon is definitely not at eye level. So as the aircraft gets closer to us, it becomes obvious that it is below our altitude. And it also appears to drop below the Earth's horizon because the angle down from horizontal is a function of how far beneath us the aircraft is and the distance. And that is simple geometry. So let's model this with Walter Bislin's Advanced Earth Curve Calculator. And I'll post a link to this site in the description below. We have the observer height at 38,000 feet and the target height at 37,000 feet. On the left hand side, it is representing a flat earth and on the right, it represents the globe. You can see that on the flat earth, the aircraft would never appear above the horizon. Yet on the globe, that is exactly what we see. As the aircraft gets closer to us, it appears to drop below the horizon on the globe. On the flat earth, it would always be below the horizon. So once again, we have a real world observation that totally supports the globe and completely contradicts what we would see if the earth was flat. Please enjoy.